Why, hello there, my friends. Do you know what's inside this box? Well, of course you do, because it's in the title of the video that you clicked on. It's the brand new Priority 600X, not the prototype that I rode down the Great Divide. This is the one with all of the improvements and upgrades and the fancy paint job. And I'm very excited to open it up. I don't have any children, and this is as close as I've ever gotten to birthing something that I created. Come on, baby. Come to the world. Here, come on, she's a little shy. <laughs> Ooh, that's a lot of cardboard. There it is, though. Look, there it is. <sighs> you know that feeling when you're super excited about something you've been waiting for for a long, long time? That's how I feel right now. I am so overwhelmed with joy. Okay, okay, I'll get on with it. <laughs> so the great thing about Priority Bikes, no matter which model you buy, is that they always come pretty much assembled, 90%. So all you gotta do is put the seat in the seat post, put the handlebars on, turn the stem, put the front tire on. In this case, gonna have to pump up the shocks, and we're ready to rock and roll. And in the very off chance that you don't have the right tools to put your bike together, Priority always sends what you need, and even a bottle of touch-up paint. Ladies and gentlemen, the Priority 600X, ta-da! If you've been following the journey of the creation of this bike and the prototype that I rode down the Great Divide, then you know a lot about this bike. But if you're new to my channel, and this is the first time you're hearing about this, I will link below a very in-depth review of the Priority 600X. But at that point, when I made that review video, this bike did not exist. It was all theoretical. Now, I get to show you all the changes that we've made. Let's start right here. This is one of the biggest changes we made to the prototype bicycle. We swapped out the RockShock Reba for the Ren suspension fork, and it's an inverted fork. It's really durable. It has 110 millimeters of travel as opposed to the 100 I had on the Great Divide. It's very easy to maintain with household tools, and it's just a beast of a shock, and we're very excited to have it on this bike. And everybody who buys this bike, you're gonna get these. These are bash guards that go right here that help protect these lower stanchions. Stanchion, is that the right word? Sta it protects this part of the shock. I don't know what it's called. I don't know anything about bikes. <laughs> Another great feature of the shock is the lockout mechanism. This is a bike packing bike, and sometimes when you're bike packing, you're not on gnarly terrain. You're on a flat highway for 50 miles, so you don't need your suspension. So you hit that lockout button, and then it's hard as a rock. I mean, I'm putting all my force on it right now. <laughs> that shock's not going anywhere. This bike has my favorite seat of all time. I have this seat on every single one of my bikes. It's the WTB Pure saddle. And I know if you watched the review video, I said we're gonna use the Volt, but actually we're using the Pure, exactly the way I wanted it in the first place. I really love how the rear triangle turned out. I'm a big fan of wider tires. It's great for riding places like the Baja Divide, anywhere deserty, sandy, snowy, so you can put wider tires on this bad boy. And look at all the clearance we have in here. You can put up to 2.8 inch tires, which is so awesome. Speaking of tires, this is the WTB Ranger, the same tire I had on the Great Divide, and I really liked it. It's not a super beefy mountain bike tire, but it definitely has enough nubbage 
for off-road in some technical sections, but it's also pretty fast rolling on pavement and smooth dirt roads. And this tire has a tougher compound than the tire I used on the Divide, so it should be more durable. I love tubeless. All my bikes have a tubeless setup. And yes, tubeless is the way to go. It will ship with tubes, but if you wanna convert it to tubeless, no problem. Now I know this bike has the pinion and Gates drivetrain, which is the top of the line, but right here, this logo here, this is really what's gonna make you go faster. This is magical right here. This has been my slogan since I started doing public access TV back in 2006, get out there. And these mountains are the flat irons here in Boulder, iconic postcard mountains here in Boulder. And I'm so proud that it's on there. Also, this is very cool. I'm not touching the bike as you see, and it's standing up just fine. That's because we put on a kickstand. Yes, this might be the first bike packing bike with a kickstand. You don't have to use it, you can take it off if you want, but it's pretty cool. Imagine your bike is all loaded up with bags, and usually at the end of the day, I try to find a tree or something to lean it against, because I don't want to just drop it to the ground. Now, boom. Problem solved. Another very cool yet subtle change we made is this. We made the main triangle quite a bit bigger. And that's good because you can put in now a larger frame bag so you can carry more stuff. When you're bike packing, you want a lot of your weight centered in the middle of the bike. This is where I put all my heavy stuff, my food and tools and frijoles. And I'm psyched about this. It's really cool. And I'm gonna have myself a nice custom frame bag made at some point. I want to take a moment now to point out something that is crucial when sizing yourself for a bicycle, whether or not you're buying this bike or any other bike on Priority's website. And the way to do that is to measure your inseam. How do you measure your inseam, you ask? Well, it's very easy. All you need is a tape measure, which I actually don't have right now, but I'm sure you do. Take off your shoes and your socks. Put the tape measure at the very bottom of your instep right here on your heel. Follow it up to the bottom of your crotch. I think that's the first time I've ever said crotch on my YouTube channel. Anyway, the crotch is where your legs meet your torso. Mine is just over 31 inches. I am 5'11", and I usually ride a large bike. Okay, this is where we've gotten into some trouble for me. The prototype large top bar was angled a little bit more down, so I had no problem with the standover height. This one, we raised it up a little bit, again, to make the main triangle bigger. And because of that, the standover height on this large no longer fits. You wanna be able to stand flat-footed on your bike and have some room. There is definitely no, no room, it's very uncomfortable. So the moral of the story is, if you're buying this bike or any other bike on the Priority website, pay close attention to the sizing chart because you don't want to order the wrong bike like your good friend, Ryan Van Duzer. I will be moving down to a size medium. Sorry, Dave. <laughs> Since we're hanging out here at the main triangle, I want to show you something. There's a hole here and here and here but there's no cable going through it. And you're probably like, why is that? Well, we put those here so that you have the option someday of running a dropper post if you want. I will definitely do that because I like riding some technical terrain where you really need to get your weight back. So you put your seat down and you go back as far as you can so you don't flip over your handlebars. And so anybody who wants to do that, this is dropper post ready. Are you ready to see a lot of bolts? The reason why we put so many mounting points on this bike, again, is because it's a bike packing bike. We want you to have as many options as possible for putting different pieces of gear on your bike. So we have three up here. We have a whole bunch in the frame if you wanna make like a custom bolt-on frame bag. We have room under here for a water bottle. We have two back here on the chain stays. You can put a rack on this bike. You're all good with eyelets. And I know this isn't new, but I wanna reiterate that this bike has the pinion and gates drivetrain. This is the dream situation for any bike pack or any bike in general. There's essentially no maintenance. I've been using the pinion and gates system for about three years now on my everyday commuter bike, the Priority 600, and I've had no problems. 
If the belt gets dirty, you just hose it off. It never ever needs to be lubed and it lasts three times longer than a chain. The pinion gearbox, well, it just goes and goes and goes. They say you need to, you know, put some new oil into it every 10,000 kilometers, 6,200 miles. And I haven't even done that. And the reason why we built this bicycle, a bike packing adventure machine based around pinion and gates is this, you can rest easy knowing that it's just gonna work. Okay, now I just wanna show you some of the highlights of the components. Again, I made a very in-depth review video of all this that I will link down below, but for now, let's go through this thing. And since we're right here, the frame right here is made of 6061 T6 ultra light aluminum with the Get Out There logo. And you can't really see it now, but there's a little bit of a sparkle in the color. It's beautiful. I don't think I said this, but these are 29 inch wheels. Big mamas, big daddies, big wheels. We've got the Gates CDX belt, the longest lasting of all their belts, and the stainless cogs here and back here. The pinion gearbox with a 600% gear ratio. That's why this bike is called the 600X. There are more gears enclosed in this box than you'll ever need. The super durable and super tunable Ren fork that has two air chambers so you can really tune this to exactly how you want it. TRP hydraulic for piston brakes. We've got a 180 millimeter rotor up front and a 160 millimeter rotor in the back. Eddie at Priority designed these handlebars and they're great. They have a little bit of back sweep, they have a little bit of rise so you can sit comfortably on your bike. And since we're up here, let's talk about these grips. They are my favorite. They have a nice wide area right here which is a, just a nice padding for your hands for those long days on the bike and we'll swoop on over here. This is the pinion gear shifter. They're always grip shift and you can just unload all your gears in one fell swoop. It's pretty neat. We've got full internal cable routing, which keeps the frame nice and clean. WTB KOM I-25 tough rims. And again, the WTB Ranger tough tire 2.25. FSA sealed bearing headset, WTB pure saddle, the get out there logo. Wait, I've already said that like three times. Can you tell I'm excited? Get out there. Tons of mounting options all over this bike. It comes with the carbon bash guards for the suspension fork and a suspension pump. And every single purchase of the Priority 600X comes with a can of refried beans. That's actually not true, but uh, it'd be cool if it did, wouldn't it? <laughs> Dave? A lot of thought went into this bike. Not just me, but Eddie at Priority, Cameron at Wren, and a whole group of other people were in on giving suggestions about this bicycle. And we're really, really excited about it. And I just wanna thank Dave and the team at Priority for saying, hey Ryan, let's do this. This is a dream project for me. So I really appreciate that Priority believed in me enough to create this thing and then go ride it down the divide. And if you're new to my channel and you haven't watched those videos, I made a really fun series riding the Great Divide on the Priority 600X. I will link those down below. And if you're interested in this bike, I will also link the information down below as well. And I just can't wait until winter is over and COVID, oh yeah, there's a pandemic going on and I can take this bike all around the world. I know that we are gonna have some very good times together and this bike is gonna show me some beautiful, beautiful places on planet Earth. So thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you for following my channel. If you wanna watch more adventure videos, I have about 800 now all over my YouTube channel. That's crazy, huh? And uh, yeah, like and subscribe and tell all your friends about my channel that really, really helps me out a lot. And I hope you all are doing well. I know this is a weird time to be on planet Earth. I hope you're doing well. I could, wish I could give you all a big hug and stay tuned for more adventures down the road. I don't know exactly what that's gonna look like because of travel restrictions, but I will 
get out there. <laughs> I'm a dork, I know, it's okay.